What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a quick video. We're just resetting a 24 port Ubiquiti standard switch, uh, non-POE. Uh, however, this reset process is gonna work for just about all the different Ubiquiti switches out there. Uh, and it's pretty quick, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so all you need to reset the switch is your switch, obviously, a paper clip. You need a cable to connect it to your other Ubiquiti devices so that you can get it added to the network and adopt it. And you also need- These nuts. <laughs> Got no, nah, I'm just kidding. You don't need that. All right, so let's go ahead and reset this thing. So you can see the switch here. Uh, it might be a little blurry on the outside because I got the wide lens on right now, uh, but it is powered up. You do have to have it powered up. And then from here, all you got to do is hit this little reset button right here, which is located here for the standard non-POE switches. It might be somewhere else on the other models. However, it should be pretty close to the same location. Hey guys, quick note here, make sure you guys subscribe and drop a comment down below. When I hit 500 subscribers, I'll be giving away a Raspberry Pi 5 to one of my supporters. I appreciate you guys, but let's go ahead and get back to the video. And from here, you just take that paper clip and uh, you hold it in the reset button for about five to 10 seconds. You should hear a little click if you've hit it right. I always hit it right first try. Stop the cap. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and start seeing it reboot. It's gonna tell you that it's uh, resetting itself to factory default. And then from here, it's just gonna reboot. So we'll give this a second to reboot. Five minutes later. All right, so this baby's back up now and you're gonna see it has default settings. You can actually navigate to this little eye here and you can actually switch over to see its IP address. And it should have defaulted to 192.168.1.20. Now this could vary based off of your model, however it's probably going to be the same. Now from here what you could do is uh, actually take your cable and connect it into your current Ubiquiti devices if you already have one and adopt it via that way. So I'm just going to plug this into any random port right now, I'm just going to use port 1. And I'm going to plug it into my UDM Pro on port 6, it doesn't really matter. Or actually I don't even know if that's port 6, uh, whatever port it is it was just the easiest one to plug into, we'll figure it out here in a second. But now we're gonna actually switch over to your UDM Pro or whatever you're using to manage your devices currently on the network. And I'm already logged in. We can see here that I've got port three up and I'm pretty sure that's the port that I just uh, plugged this new switch into. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a second and see if it actually shows up. All right, so I don't see the notification showing that the adopting is ready yet for this new switch. Uh, however, I do see the port is up. Uh, so whatever port you connected your switch into, ensure it is up. If it's not, you might have, have, it, you might have it disabled. Uh, so all you gotta do is go in here and actually activate it by pressing this active button um, and then from here we'll go to unify devices and then from here you're going to actually probably see that switch and it's going to say that it needs to be adopted so you'll just click to adopt and from here it's going to take a few minutes to actually adopt it and pull it into your actual uh, network so we'll give that a second all right so we just got an update showing that this thing is uh, currently updating uh, it's got about an estimated time of five minutes to update. Now this could vary based off of what OS version your device is currently on and uh, what it needs to upgrade to. So just give it time. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so that took freaking forever. It did definitely take about five minutes. It did some upgrading and it also upgraded not only the OS, but the uh, touchscreen itself. And now that it's all up to date, we can actually go ahead and go into the port configuration and uh, decide what networks we wanna push to this uh, switch so that we can get the devices connected to the switch and uh, make sure that they can reach the correct networks that they need to and that's about it. So that's how easy it is to reset your switch and get it reconnected to your network. I appreciate you guys' support and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.